Yo, what is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to another Football Manager Experiment here on my channel. Today I've got for you guys Piers Morgan in charge of Arsenal Football Club. Piers Morgan, of course, the self-proclaimed football expert on Twitter, goes on on Twitter quite a lot and decides to rant about Arsenal. What he'd do if he was Arsene Wenger. I've opened up Football Manager. We've made him in the Football Manager universe. And Piers Morgan, this is your time to shine. This is your time to show everyone here, right here, right now, what you can do for Arsenal. So we are starting off in the editor today. That's because I need to show you what's going on behind the scenes in terms of values. So we've given him a contract to Arsenal to begin with. He'll have three years at the club to begin with. Of course, that can be terminated. In terms of his attributes, the big ones, Ambition 20, Controversy 20. Quite a controversial character, Piers. I've put Loyalty quite low because he, he, he's not very loyal to his club from what he tweets about, so I'm sorry, Piers, you don't strike me as loyal when it comes to Arsenal Football Club, so you've got four there. Uh, in terms of professionalism, again, you know, you have the odd social media outburst, so we've given you seven there. I've given you the preference to be a manager, though, so there's that. In terms of other little bits and bobs, I've given you unlimited potential, Piers. You could become the world's greatest player. I've given you maximum reputation. I'm giving Piers Morgan right here every chance to succeed. In terms of the tactical attributes, he seems to like his attacking, so we've given him 20 tactical uh, in attacking. And you're very determined, Piers. I'm, I know I'm talking to Piers as if he's watching this. If you are watching this, Piers, I'm very sorry for what is probably going to happen here. Uh, but I have given you 20 flamboyancy, because you seem a little bit weird at times. Other than that, pretty basic. The only one that's different that isn't just set at a middle-of-the-road number is tactical knowledge, which I've put at one accordingly. In terms of non-tactical attributes, just a few here. Piers Morgan, he's going to go and buy loads of players. He's going to train his players hard. Um, he's going to play mind games and motivate his team quite well. And he's got quite good patience. No, that, that, that's, that's an error. Let's put, let's put that at one. There we go. Excellent. Other than that, I've kept things otherwise pretty bog standard, except from his ability to coach. I don't think he's qualified to any degree as a footballing coach. So they're all set to one. But anyway, we'll load up our game. I'll just show you him in game before we get started. And then we're going to let this experiment fire away and see what comes of Piers Morgan managing Arsenal. Okay, guys, so here we are in game. You can see Piers Morgan, manager of Arsenal. Um, if we go on him here, you can see all the stats we set in game, all his attributes to what we want them to be. He's got a three-year contract at the club. And if we look at his personal information, you can see he's an Arsenal supporter. Um, apparently, he has a bad relationship with me. No idea what that's about, because I just added myself as a manager. But he doesn't like me for whatever reason. His media handling style, outspoken, volatile, but likes to play mind games. Sounds very Piers Morgan-esque. Very ambitious. Um, and quite curiously... Um, he thinks he may not have what it takes to turn things around at the club, which is a little bit of an ominous sign because it is the start of the season. So I have no idea what he's trying to turn around, but I guess he's just very doubtful of the ability of Wenger's side. But anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go forward one year at a time and we will see how he gets on in charge of Arsenal. So I'll join you at the end of the 2015 season. Okay, guys, so it is the end of the 2015 season. Piers Morgan, shockingly, still in charge. Uh, we'll take a look at him first, see what he's been doing. So he's actually been studying for his National B licence. So Piers Morgan, he's taking his job seriously right now. Not much in the way of, of improvements, I guess, in his stats. If we look at his information, you can see here um, that he did acquire, obviously, his National C licence. He's satisfied with life at the moment. Good for Piers. You know, he, he's enjoying his time. Um, Looking at Arsenal themselves, where they finished, you can see that this year they actually finished fifth, which is pretty disappointing. I'm not sure why he'd be happy with that. Um, I imagine Arsenal will want Champions League football from him, but that is not what he is delivering right now. You can see they've conceded a lot of goals. They've actually scored a fair few, but they've not been doing great. So let's have a look at his transfers anyway. So look at the transfer history. Uh, sales, Joel Campbell's been sold to AS Monaco. He had a good World Cup, obviously, in real life. Uh, Monreal has gone out to uh, Lazio. Uh, other notable sales, uh, I guess you've got Flamini, probably very noticeable. And then there's going to be a few tears, I fear, in the chat as uh, Yaya Sonogo has gone out. Um, also, so has Francis, guy whose last name I can't say. I know he had a good game against City a few weeks ago. Still don't know how to say his name. Answers on a postcard. In terms of the signings, perhaps the interesting bit, Piers Morgan spent £45 million. 
And he brought in Asamoah from Juventus. Yeah, Juventus for £31 million. He's actually proved to be a pretty decent signing for them on the left-hand side. He also brought in Zaniga, so strengthening that full-back area quite considerably. £8 million spent on him, and he, he's not been a great signing, if we're honest. 6.5 rating is actually really bad. And the last signing he made was actually Contral. Pretty big signing, really, from Real Madrid. He's not played that great. He was picked up in January. But all in all, Piers, um, I don't know. I, I can't imagine his job's that safe, with, if, if I'm honest, because Arsenal finish fourth every year, like or above, I should say, fourth or above every year in... He's ruined the trend this year. But anyway, we'll see how he fares. Um, let's just have a quick look at Arsenal's fixtures. I assume they didn't win any competitions, but probably worth a check. So, uh, looking at it here... Oh, OK. They won the FA Cup. So, Piers Morgan leading Arsenal to FA Cup glory. Uh, Alexis Sanchez helping out there, getting the winning goal in extra time. Um, I think I saw that they reached the Champions League semi-final. They did. They got to the Champions League semi-final, but lost to Real Madrid on aggregate. So perhaps like Piers Morgan, you know, he's a good domestic manager, but it's going to be interesting to see how he fares next year because I am a little bit worried for his safety, especially with fifth place because they aren't going to be playing in the Champions League next year, so that's going to be pretty bad. Anyway, I'll join you guys at the end of the 2016 season. We'll see where we at, we're at and um, go from there, I guess. I'll join you guys in a second. Okay, guys, so it is the end of the 2016 season. As you can see, Mancini is in charge. Piers Morgan given the boot already. Uh, looking at it, Arsenal actually finished fifth again. Leicester, Champions League spot. I'm not going to ask questions there. If we look at the manager history, Morgan, gone. Uh, he had less than two years in charge. He got sacked. He got sacked last month, so I guess that was due to the league position. If we look at his record, he actually won 71 games in charge. Drew 20, lost 26. He actually won three cups. Granted, two were English Community Shields. I'm not really sure if they count. But he did win the FA Cup, obviously, last year. But he was sacked. And um, it doesn't look like Arsenal had the best year if we look here. Well, how did they get on? They reached the Capital One Cup final and lost. So Piers Morgan almost got another trophy, but not quite. And they lost their Crook Club Bruges in the Euro Cup. In the FA Cup, they lost to Liverpool as well. So Liverpool, a bit of a bogey team there. Pretty disappointing, you'd have to say, for Piers. I was hoping he might last a little bit longer, but looking at him, he is jobless now. If we look at his information, you can see here, he did get his National A licence in the end, so he's, um, you know, he, he's, he's a better coach than he ever has been. Um, retained his ambitious personality, same handling. You can see, looking at his short-term plans, he's trying to find a manager for his next role, but it's not going to plan just yet. Not going to plan just yet, you'd have to say. But if we look at his history here, just a quick look, uh, you can see highest fee received was 46 million for Meza Erzin. If we look at the history of Arsenal's transfers, let's see what dealings he did prior to being sacked. So he actually spent 49 million pounds in his second season. He brought in Jackson Martinez for 18.5. How did he perform? Oh, 25 goals. To be fair, he was a really good signing for them from the looks of things. Got Zaha in, who didn't play at all fair enough um, Martin Zindi another signing from Porto played a fair bit didn't really perform you'd have to say um, Corey Andrews from Palace I can only assume that was a signing for the future um, I guess the only other one is Manolas who was a first team signing he came in for six million pounds probably to help strengthen the centre back position and got a 6.4 average rating in the six games he played certainly less than ideal looking at the sales the one that drew my eye was the Urzel one, that is the only real one of note I guess Arteta going out is of note but he is fairly old, you know 34, did sell Sonogo as well so he did do one impossible task I guess you could say Piers Morgan in actually getting someone to buy Yaya Sonogo but not ideal for Piers, I was hoping he might last a little bit longer maybe even win a few more trophies but there you go Piers Morgan at Arsenal not quite the fairy tale perhaps Piers imagines it is, judged by his tweets on Twitter. He actually guided Arsenal to two fifth place finishes, which is their worst finishes in about 20 years. So well done, Piers. Uh, I didn't expect anything more. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap things up for today's video. If you did enjoy, smash the like button, share it with a friend. If you've really enjoyed this video, something different, share it with someone on Twitter or Facebook. It does greatly help me out. If you've got some suggestions for some football manager experiments like this one, perhaps slightly different to the more serious ones I sometimes do, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. If this is the first video of mine you're watching, subscribe. Hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video. It is me, Jack, and I'm out. I'll talk to you guys in a bit.